Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we are going to be asking Spirit about the past, the present, and the future of this connection um, that you have on your mind for this video, okay? Always remember the future part is um, a probable outcome, okay? So if the energy stays on course from the present into the future, um, it's a probable outcome of what could happen, okay? But energy does shift and change relatively quickly. So um, nothing is set in stone. Every, everyone has free will, things like that, okay? These are also timeless readings, so always keep that in mind. Doesn't really matter the published date or anything like that. Whenever you come across it um, is when Spirit has the message for you, okay? Um, please remember to like this video also if it's helpful for you and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you all so, so much for everyone who has subscribed to the channel. It is growing um, beyond my expectations. So um, thank you from the bottom of my heart so, so much for um, visiting here on the channel and subscribing and watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. All right, so let's choose our crystal or our card today. These cards here are going to be the decks used to represent the past, the present, and the future, okay? And then we'll get some more out of the tarot and things like that to clarify. We're gonna get a, a snapshot of the past, then the present moment, and a uh, the future as well, okay? So for crystal number one, we have the Amazonite, no, I'm sorry, not the Amazonite crystal, the Amethyst crystal and the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, okay? And then for crystal number two, we have this Rose Quartz Point and the Lover's Oracle. And for crystal number three, the Whispers of Love Oracle and the Green Fluorite, okay? So take your pick, choose which one resonates with you most and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the Amethyst Crystal, and the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, this will be your reading, okay? Today we are asking Spirit about the past, the present, and the future of this connection, okay? So for the person you have on your mind right now, um, we're going to ask Spirit where this began, okay? Round and round is what popped out for the past here, okay? So feeling like you were going in circles with this connection, okay? So um, could have been a little back and forth energy here um, between you here or something like that, hot and cold. Um, you know, in it one minute, out of it the next. Um, getting together, coming apart, stuff like that. Let's see, Ace of Swords, okay. Tower, I'm gonna get a couple more. For the past of this connection and one more please and again this is just a snapshot okay of the past of this connection here so we have oh wow look at this okay so we have the ace of swords here so wanting a new beginning with this person okay is what i'm feeling here wanting to start something new trying to gain some clarity on who they are as a person is what I'm getting here. The tower, um, but then things kind of fell apart here. There's that back and forth energy. So you started out strong here with the queen of wands, very passionate energy between you um, and knight of swords, wanting to move forward quickly. So someone here wanting to move forward quickly, someone else not really there yet, okay, is what I'm picking up here. Someone, um, yeah, someone really wanting to move forward and it kind of made something fall apart here um, within the other person. So what I'm feeling is one was ready to move forward, one wasn't. Um, so it kind of caused this back and forth, right? I think the other person was uh, extremely interested. There was a lot of passionate energy between you here. Um, feeling um, this this chemistry, chemistry and... Um, yeah, like just like feeling connected, okay? Like this chemistry, uh, instant sexual chemistry as well, okay? Um, so I feel like 
one was ready, wanting to push forward. The other really wasn't. So they kept backing up, but then they kept coming forward too because they really wanted it too, but they just maybe wanted to move a little slower, okay? Let's move into the present here for crystal number one. Present moment energy here, deep knowing. Oh, okay, so present moment. You both kind of know that you want this is what I'm picking up here, okay? You both kind of have this inner knowing that this is a connection that's, you know, it's going somewhere. It can, it can move forward here. Um, yeah, and I'm feeling like both of you here with this deep knowing, okay? Again, here I feel like it was, you both were feeling the same way, but one wanted to move quicker than the other, okay? And always remember, these are general readings on YouTube, so not all messages will resonate for everyone. Always keep that in mind. Some of it may resonate for you and some of it may not. Okay, but I do feel in the past here that this was a connection um, deeply um, connected, feeling this sexual chemistry between you, very attracted to one another. Um, and again, one wanting to move forward, the other not exactly there yet. So a little bit of hot and cold. Mm, okay, so somebody here could have been the feminine here in this connection. Could have been the feminine energy that maybe put up some boundaries here, right? Um, against this moving forward. So maybe um, the masculine was trying to come forward too quickly and the feminine kind of stepped back a little bit and was like, you know, we need to slow our roll or something like that, okay? Um, but I am feeling now that there, the feminine here, with this being in the present, I feel like um, through those boundaries, um, I feel the feminine has gotten the clarity here as well hermit yeah okay so right now you could be in a phase here in this connection where you're not really talking much with this person um in a moment of gaining some clarity here okay i'm um, hermiting away one or both of you okay um hermiting away kind of stepped back a little bit from it Okay, and maybe really assessing the situation because you have this deep inner knowing here. The moon, yeah, there's a lot of unknown between you here. There's a lot of things unknown between you. Someone here really wanting to get to know that person though. Yeah, there's a deep desire here to get to know you better or something like that here um this could be again this could be the feminine energy who withdrew energy here in the beginning wasn't ready um the feminine here um setting boundaries trying to gain some sort of clarity going into hermit mode um in the present moment here um but i am feeling here that this moon card might be the masculine really um trying to get to know you um they could possibly be you know asking friends here or something like that king of swords yeah see they're wanting clarity too we have the queen and king of swords so we have a couple on the board here okay this could be um we'll see more with the oracle cards here but this could be a coming together here since we do have the king and the queen together here um in the present moment but i feel like both masculine and feminine here are trying to gain some sort of clarity on this situation so really wanting to know is this moving forward are we going anywhere or are we just staying still is this done um or is there more for us here okay there's a lot of unknown confusion i feel a little bit of confusion surrounding the situation um, here for both of you. Let's get more. We're going to get more with the Oracle. This will probably help us pinpoint here more about the present moment. Let's see the present moment for crystal number one garden of the night. Yeah, he is more of that hermit energy. Okay. So in the present moment, this is someone here. I feel like you're really um, kind of both pulled away from each other. Okay, really both trying to gain some clarity on your situation together here, okay? Um, really trying to 
Look at all the fine details of the connection here. Paradox. This could be, yeah. Mm. Could be a twin flame. Okay, with the paradox coming through. Um, we did have the king and queen of swords. And I did hear a possible divine couple here as well. So, And now paradox has come through. So spirit is reiterating to me that that could be the case here. Um, this could be someone that you are deeply connected to. We also have that deep knowing, okay? So if you have met your twin flame, um, and if this person is the twin flame, this is like the energy of runner chaser here, right? Um, you know, putting labels on it can only put blocks into the connection though, but it's an easier way to kind of describe that energy. Um, yeah, this is almost like one wanted to rush forward and one wanted to back up. So that would tie in for sure, right? Um, one not necessarily ready, one not necessarily healed enough, okay? Was feeling like it could be the feminine because the Queen of Swords came out here um, with the boundaries, okay? Setting that boundary and saying, no, I can't do this right now. Look at this at the bottom of the deck. I just picked it up. <laughs> Twin Flames is there. So uh, definitely another... Uh, reiteration from spirit here that this could be for some of you your twin flame we're talking about but yeah so i feel here that there's right now you're in some sort of a healing phase okay in the present moment about this connection really going deep okay um really trying to figure out um getting to know that other person um really trying to figure out um where this connection is leading right Healing past wounds with the Garden of the Night, okay? But all along, having this deep inner knowing, spying. Yeah, I was feeling that too, like kind of <laughs> right here, right? With the Hermit. And I don't know why I was feeling that, like getting this deep inner knowing here. Like almost like they're hidden away by themselves and they really want to get to know you. So they're kind of like asking friends or talking um, to people who know you or looking at your social media, things like that. So like someone you're not in contact with is what I'm feeling here. Who is admiring from afar, really trying to pinpoint your energy like really trying to figure you out I guess I don't know it's like that really trying to figure out like where this connection is going yeah but with the hermit once the moon came out I did get that briefly like a, a little bit of you know I said talking to friends and it was almost like I felt like it was from afar. It was kind of like just kind of trying to get to know you without actually asking you, you know, um, from other people or from like looking at social media, things like that. See the bigger picture and make time for self-love. So in the current moment here, in the present, try to look at the big picture here, okay? Both of you um, will really need to go deep, right? And look at that bigger picture. Um, you know, think about how you did feel in these moments here where you were feeling extreme sexual chemistry and love towards this person, right? You have this deep inner knowing. So just kind of look at that bigger picture and try to build on the positive and then make time for self-love. Of course, healing is uh, a very necessary part, right? So we definitely need to try to work on our healing here is what I'm feeling here in the present moment for you, Crystal number one definitely a healing part of this journey for you okay let's see what else for crystal number one in the present moment in this connection present moment for this connection please present moment for this connection please there we go. Wish upon a star. Mm. Yeah, even though you're apart, I feel here that you guys are wishing, wishing, wishing to be together, okay? You're both kind of daydreaming 
and really wanting togetherness here is what I'm feeling, okay? Really wanting to figure it out and get together here is what I'm feeling. Change, yeah. So big changes could be happening in the present moment as well, energetically here. Um, definitely could be, um, you know, working through that healing and making changes in your life, right? That can allow a connection to come in here opening up your life for a um partnership here re-energize look at this yeah re-energize there's that wanting to bring it back together right wanting to come back together and really feel the way you are feeling here even though one of you i feel wasn't ready i feel like the feelings were there there was this deep attraction and knowing right and that deep knowing is still present according to this card here for the present it's still active that that deep inner knowing still exists in this connection so it's like you know that this is your person but you have things to heal before you can balance those energies out and come into alignment with a relationship with them okay wondrous universe mm, things happening around you okay Feeling like you might be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities here, pointing you in the direction of this person, of this connection, okay? Um, feeling like the universe is kind of like, you know it, so, um, yep, get, get going on it kind of thing, right? You know, here's a little, you know, you might pull away from it energetically, and then the universe kind of like shows you things that remind you that this is your path kind of thing, right? Let's see what else in the present moment, please. Get a couple more and then some message cards for the present and the past. I'm gonna get message cards for the past too, I'm curious. I wasn't going to, but I feel like being pulled to, so. Um, and then we'll move on to the future going on in the present moment in this connection for crystal number one please so definitely a time to um make time for self-love heal um really work on changing those uh you know maybe some self-limiting beliefs things like that past life relationship so yeah another confirmation from spirit here that this is a powerful deep connection okay you have known each other before past life relationship again could be soulmate twin flame with the paradox card coming out and also the twin flame card being on the bottom of the deck as well what else for this current okay let's see what those are hmm we got two so this could be a wound that someone here is needing to heal, okay? Not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy, okay? One or both of you probably needing to work on, again, that self-loving thing, right? Work on healing those wounds from the past here. And keys on a ring. Many options, decision, unconventional string along one night stand for this one i feel like this is about a decision here okay it's a decision to hand the keys over to someone else in your life right kind of like giving them the keys to drive you somewhere right um to move forward right opening your heart opening your heart to love um maybe you're a little bit closed down not necessarily you this could be your person of course always remember that these energies can be vice versa as well so could be your person or you um kind of having these past wounds feeling not good enough things like that needing to heal but then being open to receive as well right so handing the keys over and saying let's do this you know what i mean let's do this together okay so feeling that for sure all right i'm gonna get out the message cards um I'm going to start with the past, though. I'm going to go back to the past because I'm feeling pulled to do that. So what would what would been what would have been said to each other in the past here? OK, um, one or both of you saying this to the other. OK, some message cards for the past energy of this connection, please. 
You are the best thing in my life. So see, there was that strong attraction, that strong energy. Wow, somebody nervous, okay, yep. Yeah. So you are the best thing in my life, okay? So definitely that energy here of, you know, knowing that you, this person is really good for you, you know, um, feeling like they're great, amazing, right? But then being in your presence makes me nervous. So one or both of you here feeling pretty nervous about each other in the past. Again, that fear of moving forward, right? One was ready, one wasn't, okay? Let's see, what else? A couple more for the past here. Then we'll get the present. Messages from this person or vice versa for the past, please. I had to, okay, I had to resolve things in my life before I could come forward. So whoever wasn't ready might have had some things to face in their own life first, okay? They might have had other responsibilities, other um, commitments here to attend to. I'm sorry if I kept you waiting. So um, still feeling this way in the past here. They were right away, they, they might have felt like, I know you want to move forward. Whoever wasn't ready here, I know you want to move forward. And I'm sorry I'm not ready. I'm sorry if I keep you waiting, right? But I'm just not ready, right? So they had to um, keep you waiting, maybe to resolve these things in their life as well, okay? Now we're going to move to the present because I wasn't even going to get these cards, but I did feel pulled to it. Present moment messages, please, from these two people here messages for crystal number one I want to hold you in my arms so there is this deep wanting knowing longing here to um, heal and get together here okay that wanting to move forward there wishing for change okay what else for the present moment for crystal number one I feel your presence with me always, okay? So for you twin flames out there, um, this is definitely something. They're feeling your energy um, all the time, regardless if you're with them or not here. In the present moment for crystal number one. I will always love you. Wow. So who, both of you here, I feel. I feel this is both of you. With that deep inner knowing, I felt it was both of you. Um, for sure. And even here, I felt like the feelings were mutual. One wasn't ready. One was. That's all there was here. But for here, definitely, um, I feel like you both will always love one another here. This current energies, please, for crystal number one. Current energy for crystal number one. I pray you will give me a second chance. Mm, so the person who really wasn't ready and maybe pulled away from the connection is really hoping that um, a second chance will be given and that love will um, find a way here, okay? And that could be relevant to someone. Love will find a way. A song. Okay, it could be a song that somebody out there knows here. I'm hearing um, love will find a way. Um, if that resonates for some of you out there, that may be a very specific message um, for some of you or one of you. <laughs> anyway, let's see where the future goes, okay, for this connection. The future here. If, you know, of course, if we stay on this, this path here. So if we heal ourselves, put the work into it, um, do the things necessary to, in, you know, to make changes, right? Let's see where the future um, could lead for this uh, situation for crystal number one, please. The future of this connection for crystal number one, please. Fork in the road. So a decision made here. Which way do I go? Okay. So decisions being made, crystal number one, um, about which way to go. Okay. This is like the two of wands, two of swords type energy. Okay. Okay. Um, Decision made. Okay, so maybe one of you have made a decision to move forward or not to move forward. We will see more with the tarot. Let's see for crystal number one, please. The future energy of this connection, please, for crystal number one. 
future of this connection for crystal number one, please. future of this connection for crystal number one eight of pentacles the hard work is paying off okay beautiful so all the work that you're putting in here um if this stays on course it is going to pay off in the future beautiful what else eight of cups so leaving the past behind and um letting go okay and releasing all of that negativity is what i'm feeling here so anything um, feeling not good enough, things like that, I feel like you're finally opening up the possibilities of, you know what, I am good enough. I do deserve this, okay? So you're finally, I feel here, energetically getting into balance um, and able to leave those um, self-limiting beliefs behind, you know, and really healing, if you heal, of course. <laughs> If you take the time to do the work in the present moment is what I'm feeling. Okay, temperance, there's that balance. I just said it, right? Yeah, you're coming into balance. You're balancing your energies out. You are, um, again, you're healing yourself. So you're able to move forward um, calmly and with a deep knowing that you know you're doing the right thing here is what i feel okay you are yeah you're deep into the self-love okay you're deep into the self-love here and you know that you deserve it now okay four of pentacles yeah feeling grateful is what i'm feeling here you're feeling very uh a lot of gratitude you know having an attitude of gratitude is big right um for bringing in the things that we want the most right if we want a deep love in our life we have to be grateful for what we have in the moment i feel like it, this in the future is saying here that your hard work is paying off you're feeling very grateful for your present moment and you're feeling very grateful for this person okay um they've been very patient with you as well with that temperance card um, whoever, and of course I'm talking to whichever person in this connection wasn't necessarily ready, right? So the other person was extremely patient with them and the person um, that was struggling and needing to heal and backing up and things like that, they're feeling super grateful now for the other person's patience, right? So this is nice energy. Um, it's kind of like just, it's not really saying exactly um, like what's going to happen, but what it's saying is that the energies are finally coming into balance, which is very important, right? Because for forward movement to happen, we kind of have to be in balance, okay? So we'll get more with the Oracle though. Future of this connection for crystal number one, please. So from healing into um, gratitude and balance, that's beautiful. Look at that, bringer of change. Yeah, see, so that healing is what's going to bring in all these beautiful changes. So this is saying here that if the healing takes place and everything like that, things will transform, but you have to do the work to get there um, in order to make it happen, right? in order to manifest that change into your life beautiful what else for the future of this connection we have two we have ooh, adventure and wild see getting back to that passionate energy there is what i'm feeling okay coming into balance and wanting to just enjoy each other right go wild have a good time go on adventures really spend time enjoying each other is what i'm feeling here okay and again being very grateful also for that connection for that feeling of being in love and feeling passionate about somebody here right beautiful what else for crystal number one the future of this connection what else could possibly happen in the future here for crystal number one? Sorry, my rings are all spinning and making it very hard to shuffle. Okay. 
What else for the future of this connection for Crystal's soulmate? Okay, so we have that card out again here. We had the um, past life twin flame. So it could be soulmate twin flame. Um, either way, this is a very deep soul connection that you share with this person. Um, even in the present moment during all of this healing, you have this deep inner knowing that this person is special, right? That this person is someone that you are, um, you know, kind of like destined to be with, right? You have that inner knowing already here, okay? So in the future um, with the soulmate card, yeah, that's this person um, coming together with this person here, I feel. Cool your emotions. So you may have to calm yourself down a little bit. You might be um, very excited, okay, um, to finally be in a place where you're happy um, together here, right? So you may have to take a breather here and there. Um, maybe after a few wild nights out here, we had wild, uh, wild and adventure. So maybe going on some wild adventures together, you may need to kind of um, calm yourself down a little bit and take a break, you know, listen to your body. Don't give up on your self love. Um, always, you know, focus on that as well. Let's see what else for the future of this connection for crystal number one, please. The future of this connection for crystal number one. We have two close encounters and waking the lion. Yeah. Whoo. All right. Keeping it PG here. Hold on. Um, <laughs> waking the lion and close encounters. This is a very deep desire. Um, for intimacy, uh, physical intimacy. Okay. Um, yeah, wanting to be very close and very, very passionate. Man, the energy between you two here is extremely passionate. I had to kind of alter <laughs> what just came through here um, because this is YouTube. <laughs> so got to keep it on the nice side, not the naughty side, right? But still trying to convey the message the best way I can here. But this is um, very, very passionate um energy here um coming to a head here okay so it's a very um steamy type of encounter here you will have here in the future wonders yeah it's gonna make you feel literally like this is magic okay is what i'm getting here um once this all comes together you're gonna feel like this connection together is magical okay future of this connection for crystal number one future of this connection positivity yes there you go beautiful shifting out of that negativity healing those wounds here in the present and keeping it on the positive side beautiful beautiful energy here of change and transformation very nice what else for crystal number one in the future so keeping it positive even once you're together here try not to let those fears creep up okay um fears are insecurities from the past right you've healed it try to remember when things arise that maybe trigger you okay try to bring yourself into calm and remain positive here okay look at this in the flow in the future in the flow everything is smooth sailing so once everything is settled here within all the energies come into balance with that temperance card um everything's gonna feel so much easier right it's from this push pull energy here into healing into flow this is beautiful beautiful transformative energy here crystal number one yeah, this is a very nice um, flow of energy here. Let's see. Future for crystal number one, please. Future of this connection with crystal number one. This is beautiful. Future, please, of this connection for crystal number one. Woo. We have very soon. Okay, so very soon something will happen here. Okay, so... If it hasn't happened yet, it will soon, okay? Um, yeah, don't rush it, but it'll, it'll happen, okay? Yeah, don't rush into it. Just um, make sure you're uh, focusing on that healing here so that can come in very soon, okay? 
um, the faster we decide to really focus on that healing and focus on that self-love, the faster things can happen for us, right? The faster we will manifest it. What else, please, for crystal number one? Future, future of this connection. Ascending. Yeah, see? You're both raising your vibration. You're both coming. You're, again, I feel like you're aligned now, okay? You're both raising your vibration to a point where you can... Um, continue into the higher realms right remain in that high vibrational energy and things will literally flow everything will be and not you know life is about gift and challenge it's not all beautiful all the time right so of course there will be challenges along the way but you'll definitely feel more in flow here wow see being with you will be a dream come true. So I feel like in the future here, this is saying that once you come together, you're going to feel like you're both in a dream, like your dream person. You're with your dream person, like your dreams have come true. Okay, let's get a couple more message cards for the future. I am ready for our new beginning. I love you. Mm hmm. So very soon I am ready. Okay, absolutely. So the new beginning in the future, if the healing takes place in the present. Beautiful. What else? A couple more, please, for crystal number one. I kept distracting myself to act like I didn't care. So in the future, um, you might be, you know, you might have talks and they might tell you that, yeah, I cared all along. Um, I just kind of distracted myself and made it seem like I didn't care but I did. I feel like that could be the person there that wasn't ready, okay? Making it seem like they weren't into this. Look at this, you're so hot. There's that passionate energy between you, okay? Both really super attracted to one another. Um, yeah, I feel like, again, healing into smoother sailing here could be a counterpart, twin plane counterpart here, soulmate connection. Either way, it's a deep, powerful soul connection here. Um, crystal number one is what I'm feeling, okay? So good luck, heal, take the time necessary to do it, you know, and things might shift into that positivity. So best of luck. I hope this reading was helpful. If it was, please give it a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the Lover's Oracle and the Rose Quartz Point, this will be your reading, okay? Today we are asking Spirit about the past, the present, and the future of this connection um, that you have on your mind right now, okay? So um, please remember to like this video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. And for this reading, keep in mind that the future part here is, of course, um... A probable outcome okay because energy can shift and change um, relatively quickly and tarot really does not um, predict the future okay so we can look at where the energy might go um, in this connection so for the past we have out the friendship card okay nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve so um, feeling here that you um, and a friend here have gained some sort of romantic feelings towards each other here in the past, okay? So we could be talking about a friendship um, evolving into more here in the past, okay? Let's see with the tarot. And we are going to get just a snapshot of the past. Um, for crystal number one, I ended up getting some message cards out. Once I did the present moment, I was um, being called to get message cards out for the past. So I am going to do that for all of these today as well, even though it wasn't my original intention. Um, I feel like I was being called to do so. So I am going to do that. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. So um, feeling like you and maybe a friend here um, have started to put work into... Um, coming together romantically here so a little bit of flirting maybe going on uh, maybe some expression of feelings here in the past okay let's see what else for crystal number two in the past here wow yeah feeling some really deep feelings of love here is what i'm feeling okay with this king of cups coming out okay feeling um very very um 
strongly towards this person, okay? So this could have been someone you've been friends with for a long time and these feelings have developed over the years or something like that. Let's see what else for crystal number two in the past, this connection. Ace of Cups, wow, yeah, really wanting a new start here, okay? Um, wow, I'm feeling like in the past here, we're going to see where this goes, but you could even already be with this person for some of you, okay? Um, for sure, wanting a new start, for sure, putting work into it, really loving someone um, really deeply here, I'm feeling, okay? A lot of deep love coming through here. Um, between you and this person in the past. Let's see. One more, please. For a snapshot of the past of this connection to crystal number two. Queen of Swords. Okay, so very strong um, individual here. Um, maybe setting some boundaries. Okay, could have been something going on um, surrounding you here that you've had to maybe put a stop to or something like that something around you that you've had to put a stop to one or both of you energy could be flip-flop this could be a person this could be you but feeling like in the past of this connection there was something around you that had there had to be a, a stop put to it okay um but there was a lot of feelings of love here wanting a new start again could be already with this person but whatever this was had to stop first is what I'm feeling. Okay. Let's get some message cards out. Like I said here. We're going to get these out. Even though I wasn't going to. Um, I do definitely feel like it's necessary for this reading. For some reason. Okay. Um, for crystal number two. What was going on in the past of this connection here with this person. The past of this connection. Some message cards please. For crystal number two. In the past of this connection. Oops. I have a flipper. Thank you for blessing me with your love. So yeah, see this two people here really feeling deeply. Okay, um, feeling like blessed to have um, expressed to one another this desire here. This um, yeah, these feelings of love. So I feel like in the past here you might have um, both expressed that you feel more than friendship here. Okay. Again, only take what resonates in these readings as well. If this doesn't resonate for you, um, you know, maybe a different crystal or a different reading altogether. Um, but this is what's coming through here. Um, these are general readings. So not all messages will resonate for everyone all the time, right? Um, some of it may, some of it may not. You are the best thing in my life. Yeah, so wow, really feeling connected yeah deep deep connection here feeling like you're the best thing in their life you or this person again always remember to take it as it resonates flip flop it if necessary it can be vice versa um yeah wow really feeling grateful for one another here i'm feeling in the past a friend that i feel you might have known for a very long time here is what I'm feeling and that these feelings developed over time wow yeah look at this I'm looking forward to starting over with a clean slate okay so mm, okay so for some of you all right for some of you here what had to end was moving forward at this time Okay, for whatever reason. Yeah, someone may be connected, possibly connected to someone else here. And being like, I feel this way for you, but, you know, you have a boyfriend or you, or you have a girlfriend or whatever the case may be here. For some of you, not all of you, but that's coming through now with this card here. I am looking forward to starting over with a clean slate. So somebody cleaning something up in their life, whatever this is that had to end here, okay? And really wanting to move forward to the future with a clean slate. Okay, pass to this connection. 
Loving you has given me the hope and inspiration I needed. Mm-hmm. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so this could have been a person here in a situation where they were in an unhappy situation, okay? With a partner or something like that, right? You being a friend here... Or like this, I mean, this card is beautiful. It's like he's holding her, like protecting her, right? So you could have been like the shoulder to lean on here, okay? Um, but really feeling deep love for this person as well. Not only friendship, right? But that love was what gave this person um, the hope and inspiration needed to get past whatever it was here that had to end in someone's life, okay? Could have been a relationship, could have been something else, but for some of you, I was picking up here um, when this card came out that someone was connected to someone else, so you had to kind of put the brakes on your own connection is what I was picking up here. Like you had to hit the brakes on forward movement together here, okay? Hmm, okay. So let's find out now what's going on in the present moment for this connection, okay? The present moment for crystal number two. Present moment for this connection for crystal number two, please. Present moment for crystal number two. We have transformation beautiful so oh beautiful yeah so this beautiful card here and it's transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things okay yes your love was the hope and inspiration needed right love transforms all things okay so I feel like because of the love that you share here with this person, they're able to free themselves from something that had to end in their life and come forward here. Um, so in the present moment, transformation is happening. Let's get some tarot out as well for the present moment here. The crystal number two, we have two of wands. Yeah, planning next steps. Look at that. Yep. So now it's the planning for the future stage. Okay. So we've moved past this. Um, we've transformed our energies. We've transformed our lives. Um, ended things that needed to end here. And now planning for a next step. Okay. So that's good. That's um, a step up here. Let's see. Let's get some more for the present moment of this connection please for crystal number two whoa that one really wanted to fly out yeah change perspective letting go surrender yep okay so yep exactly this is the letting go of the past here okay letting go of the past and choosing to move forward planning for the future instead of focusing on the past so whatever it was that had to end I feel like this person has done that, has done the work necessary to do that, okay, and is now ready to plan the future here. They've transformed their life, their life, uh, their lives here. Both of you may have transformed your lives then because I kept wanting to say life and it kept coming out lives. <laughs> so um, maybe both of you have transformed your lives here. Um, Eight of Pentacles, yeah, see? Hard work paid off, right? Hmm. Yeah, so someone here really, um, yeah, really stepped up to the plate, okay? They really took, took their life back is what I'm feeling, okay? And really took the reins, okay? And really... Um, focused on forward movement is what I'm feeling here, okay? So this could have been a situation where someone was kind of feeling stuck in an unhappy situation, um, something like that. And I did feel here in the past that maybe you were like a shoulder to lean on if you were friends. And friends for a long time is what I keep picking up here. Um, but the love they felt from you really helped them 
two came out, so we'll take both. Um, you really help them to transform. Yeah, with your patience, too. Yeah, you've been so patient here. Um, one or both of you, again, take it as it resonates and flip-flop if necessary. But someone here has been extremely patient with the other, right? Um, and very loving and kind is what I'm feeling here. And it's, it's also brought about this moment of just knowing okay knowing that this was a necessary step in their life in order for forward movement okay and wanting this new beginning now we have an ace of swords here so a new beginning is coming right a new beginning on the way here after a period of i feel here stuck okay they might have been a little bit stuck and then feeling that love open them up here and like kind of propel them into working really hard to get to a point where they were able to move forward with clarity okay with the ace of swords move forward with clarity okay and knowing that this new start is exactly what they need in their life okay wow this is really nice um very transformative we did have transformation right so yeah i feel like you're both transforming your lives through this okay again moving from friendship into something deeper here okay but having to in the past hit the brakes here wanting to start over for a new clean with a new clean slate though i feel like that's there here what's happening here right it's that new beginning with a clean slate letting go of that past with that hanged man letting go of that situation that had to come to an end that i picked up here okay we're going to get some oracle out now please for the present moment the noble one doing the right thing i just said that feeling like you're coming forward someone in this connection is coming forward with clarity okay knowing it's the right thing for them okay knowing it's the right thing for their life for your life okay yeah beautiful present moment for crystal number two with this connection please what's going on the present moment focus yes extremely focused and expression too flipped over um extremely focused okay extremely focused is what i'm getting here on this clean slate forward movement new beginning okay an expression i feel like now you're free to express how you both feel about one another here because the past with that um hanged man that surrender that letting go it's taken place in the present moment so now you're free to express to one another your true deepest feelings okay what else for crystal number two in the present moment communication yeah there's more communication that expression of love right able to talk about it able to express to one another freely and openly okay beautiful present moment for crystal number two with this connection please present moment okay we have think it through yeah there's that again it's that working through whatever had to end okay and thinking through all of the the emotions and everything that came along with it to get to that surrender stage right that deep inner knowing okay that that clarity that was necessary i feel has come in here okay in this situation that clarity has come in for a new start beautiful and we did have here starting over with a clean slate which is what i feel that ace of swords is here it's starting over with clarity okay and being free to express as well not feeling very um limited by um being you know tied down to a different situation or whatever the case may be let it go yeah exactly so there's that surrender again that's a big part of the present moment right now is this surrender this letting it go um moving past whatever it was here that i picked up had to end okay moving past it letting it go and just moving forward 
Okay, let, what else? We have solitude, okay. So in the present moment, there could be moments here where you both kind of need some alone time, okay, to kind of process all of the changes that are happening here, okay, is what I'm feeling. Um, you might need to take some, you know, take a breather, kind of like, um, yeah, just go inward um, on yourself, reflect on all the changes that are taking place, because I did feel like both of you are transforming your lives, right? So there's changes on both sides happening here. Um, and I feel like there's definitely going to be moments of per uh, periods of time or moments in time where you're going to kind of need to just kind of withdraw from each other and spend some time in meditation or things like that, right? Some deep inner work as well, right? We're always working on ourselves. We should never stop doing that, right? Even if we are in a relationship. We should always be constantly trying to be the better version of ourselves here, right? So turn away. Yeah, see, you got to turn away from the things in the past that have hindered your growth, right? There's definitely that, again, this is the present moment I feel here in this connection is all about the letting go energetically, like fully surrendering it, okay? Just fully surrendering it, letting it go leaving it in the past where it belongs right turning away from it and moving toward what makes you happy okay so if this was an unhappy situation for you or your person this is leaving that behind and really just focusing on starting over with a new slate a clean slate with you know what does make you happy fogged in go slow take time and traveling lightly and gates of triumph, okay? Oops, I'll put those back backwards. There we go. Yeah. I'm making a mess. There we go. Okay. So we have fogged in. Go slow, take time, okay? This is about forward movement, but just take your time with it, okay? Don't rush it. Once it does start to happen, just allow it to, right? traveling lightly simplify your life don't overcomplicate things okay just kind of go with the flow of it and it will work out and gates of triumph look at that success expands in your life through this transformation okay success is right there over that little hill right it's just kind of up the little path and there's the sun shining bright right there so it, it is on the way it's a work in progress, okay? Um, but I feel like you're both really working hard with that Eight of Pentacles towards this happiness here. And this is in the present moment. And then we'll see the future soon and see if this um, goes even further here, okay? Or where it could possibly lead to. Okay, what do we have for the present moment? True love. This is a romance of a lifetime, okay? So yeah, really feeling deeply in love here, okay? Again, I felt like you might have known this person for a long time with the past energy here. Um, someone that you really um, could rely on is what I feel, right? Kind of like that shoulder to cry on energy, but both ways, right? Um, I feel like you're both, you've both been there for one another here, for sure, through everything, through thick, through thin, right? Beautiful. Present moment, please, for crystal number two, Cupid's arrow. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Have faith, right? Cupid's arrow strikes. Yeah, so it's coming, even if you're just friends at the moment, at the present moment still, because we're in this stage of surrender, we're in this transformational phase of letting go. This is saying that it's coming, right? It's on the way, okay? Cupid's arrow has struck and forward movement will happen here from what this looks like anyway. And success, success expands, so that's beautiful. All right, let's get some message cards out for the present moment. Where did that go? Oh, there it is. It flipped and flew, and I didn't even know where it went. I am ready for our new beginning. I love you. Okay, so 
yeah, again, that's that feeling of ready for this to start, ready for this to go forward, move forward. Beautiful. Present moment for crystal number two, please. In this connection, <laughs> these cards are just flying everywhere. Wow. Someone here in the present moment really thinking about marriage here, okay? I will be honored to share my last name with you, okay? Um, yeah, wow. Big energy there in the present moment. So really looking to the future here, okay? Really looking at stability. A stable, loving, like marriage here. Present moment for crystal number two. Wow. Beautiful. I have loved you from the moment I laid eyes on you. So if you have known this person for a long time um, and they were a friend, I feel like one or both of you, okay, because it could be either or here. Um, yeah, you've really had uh, deep feelings for one another here um, For from the moment I laid eyes on you. That is beautiful. So even though you may have appeared to be friends, secretly almost like that secret admirer right um maybe you know we're friends but they just never told you that they had these deeper feelings here until recently wow i want to be with you forever another energy of wanting to marry here wanting a stable commitment here okay i want to be with you forever this is beautiful okay so present moment looking good here crystal number two now we're going to get out for the future okay let's get the heart cards back out here for the future of this connection for crystal number three please i mean crystal i'm sorry crystal number two i was looking at the three for the piles <laughs> and i said three but we'll clear them out and we'll reset crystal number two please the future of this connection please for crystal number two future of this connection Ooh, we have two okay take them both i'm told so i will do that let's put those there i have beautiful okay so we have sexual union honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss feeling absolute bliss with this person in the future sexual union coming together um in a physical type relationship as well and we have this card here which is playfulness so yeah really enjoying each other and having fun together laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer yeah remember what i said here you for the past one of you loving you has given me the hope and inspiration i needed yes to heal whatever this situation is here that was having to be left behind right there you go so for the future that energy is um yeah now transformed into playfulness right because that energy um helped this person to get through this okay beautiful for the future of this connection for crystal number three probable outcomes here of course you know that i've already said it for the reading eight of swords wow yeah <laughs> two peas in a pod was just what i just heard here feeling very bound to one another yes okay and of course i read intuitively so whatever i hear that comes through the eight of swords is about sometimes negative thought patterns um you know self-limiting beliefs things like that it's not what i picked up i heard two peas in a pod feeling bound to be bound together stuck together like glue <laughs> okay so wanting togetherness wanting to just never leave each other's side is what i'm feeling wow yeah let's see what else whoa look at this four of wands yeah marriage see i told you like i said I, that that card can have a lot of negative connotations to it but that's not what I, i've heard two peas in a pod literally stuck together like glue wanting to marry one another here four of wands okay moving forward into prosperity love abundance um stability right wow this is absolutely beautiful crystal number two yeah wow I'm almost feeling like this is, 
I'm going to say it. I feel soon. I'm going to say it. <laughs> um, maybe it'll come through in the cards too, but... And, of course, it is future, but I'm feeling like this will be fast moving because of how long you've known each other here or something, okay? Yeah, I'm feeling that big time here with those cards. All right, let's see. Let's get a couple more, and then we'll move on to Oracle for the future of this connection. Beautiful marriage, though. Um, wanting to spend a lot of time together, okay? Really wanting to enjoy the connection, be playful. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Wanting to get stable, okay? Wanting to be stable together here, okay? This is about being financially independent. I feel like both of you here in this situation have your finances in order, for yourselves okay separately and then coming together it's like abundance i was picking that up very big time with the four of wands like you're feeling very prosperous and abundant and that's because we have two financially stable individuals here coming together very um independent in your own right here Okay, and remaining independent as well. Not always like, yes, two peas in a pod. Yes, stuck together like glue, but also allowing for um, each person to have their own individuality here as well. Okay, and strength. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy here. Fire energy. I'm feeling a lot of passion um, between you here being strong together, building almost like building an empire, okay? Like power couple vibes coming through here. Wow, this is big. Big, big energy here. This is beautiful, crystal number two. Um, of course, if it stays on course and, you know, um, this is where this could lead. This is nice, very nice. Someone who really appreciates and values your presence here. Look at this. Tending the future. Yeah, see? Building big things together. Exactly. With the strength card. I just got that there with the strength card. You guys are tending the future together. Building something big here is what I'm feeling. Wow, that's nice. Beautiful energy there. Growth, okay. What else for crystal number two? Passion, yeah, that, that's a given, okay. There's definitely a lot of passion between you here, um, for sure. So expect more of that to come in the future. Okay, for crystal number two, please. The future of this connection for crystal number two. Taking action. Okay. Oh, and another one flipped over here. Attraction. Okay. So taking action and attraction. Yeah, definitely there's a passionate energy between you. I feel a lot of physical intimacy here um, between you as well. Okay. And taking action towards making, um, again, this stable um foundation here for the both of you i was picking up like power couple vibes here okay like really taking life and and running with it you know what i mean like beautiful wow feeling empowered and strong together yeah wow that's big embrace the flow of life yeah so and then you're going to be able to just kind of go with the flow here okay um going with the flow and just enjoying um, the flow of life, right? You're really um, happy and abundant, I feel. And everything just starts to flow so naturally here with you two. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. Crystal number two, the future of this connection. Awakening genius. Yeah, see? There's this card. I'm telling you, you guys are planning something big or... There's something very powerful about this connection. There's something very powerful about the two of you together, okay? Um, if this applies to you, you'll maybe know what I mean. But, man, there is something so powerful about the couple of the two couple together is what I'm getting here. Something very 
unique and powerful here. Yeah, wow, this is beautiful energy here. Feeling like, yeah, like almost faded. Fate, destiny here. Crystal number two, the future of this connection. Love, yeah, there's going to be plenty of love here between you, okay? I feel like you deeply, we had the King of Cups, Ace of Cups in the beginning. I mean, the um, this is beautiful energy even from the past, okay? Um, this love is going to endure and just keep on growing, okay? This is absolutely beautiful energy here for sure. A deep, powerful love. What else, please? We have acceptance, okay? So, yep. So, some sort of acceptance going on in the future. Not um, sure exactly what this could be for you. Um, could be about accepting... Um, where you where you're gonna live where you know like just kind of coming into an acceptance of what this connection together means okay so if one or both of you have to um give up something in order to create harmony i feel like there's an acceptance between you of that like it's it's almost like um what is that energy that I'm trying to describe? Um, like compromise, right? So like a compromising type energy here. I feel like you two here um, easily compromise on things, okay? Is what I'm getting. Like an easy... I feel like this is a very calm, like peaceful connection like you bring each other so much like calm is what I'm feeling here crystal number two watching clouds yeah so for the future finding yourself relaxing with your person I feel like this is going to be one of your most favorite places right lying back resting and relaxing together um just kind of enjoying the flow of life here this is beautiful beautiful again power couple energy coming through so feeling financially secure abundant prosperous um again for wands possible marriage here as well so feeling very stable together here is what i'm feeling okay let's get a couple more then we gotta get the message cards out for the future as well we have chemistry Yes, there's definitely a lot of chemistry between you from day one, I feel, okay? Um, strong magnetic attraction here. Very, very strong love. What else for the future for crystal number ascending? So you, oh, two of them. Ascending and the Grim Reaper. What is this about? <coughs> Excuse me. Didn't expect that cough to come. I don't know what this Grim Reaper is about. I'm not even sure if it was supposed to come out with it. I'm not feeling it at all here. Ascending, tra uh, we're definitely transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So yeah, definitely um, preparing for um, a get together here. I personally don't feel like this Grim Reaper card has any bearing. I don't even know. I think it was kind of stuck to that one and I don't feel like that's part of this reading so i'm going to put it back again intuitively if i was told to take it i would have clarified that for sure because it doesn't fit in here at all um i just feel like it was kind of like stuck to it and i didn't know whether to take it or not um okay we're gonna get message cards out now for crystal number two i don't know what happened that cough came out of nowhere um and my throat is really like kind of scratchy right now so I, I apologize um if you can't really hear me too well <clears throat> for a moment here all right for crystal number two message cards for the future please i am trying to do everything right because i'm so scared to mess this up with you so a little bit of perfectionism i feel coming through here for one or both people here um 
maybe trying to do things too perfectly so there could be a need to maybe lighten up a little bit about certain things don't try to be perfect here um, with stuff for the future you make me feel so young and alive so yeah feeling very vibrant um, in the future here with this connection feeling very young alive vibrant I got here let's see I miss you so much it hurts okay um this could be if one of you are traveling or something like that here that when you're not together because you were like two peas in a pod at the beginning of this uh, future part here so if one of you travels I feel like this is saying here that the, one of you misses the other very much when you're not together for the future of this connection please I feel it mm, look at that I feel like we are on top of the world when we are together yeah I told you this is like power couple energy here really both of you feeling on top of the world um yeah very powerful very powerful crystal number two all right guys that's what I have for you for today oops I just shook the whole thing I'm sorry um that's what I have for you for today if this resonated for you please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already i appreciate you all being here have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next reading if you resonated with crystal number three the green fluorite crystal and the whispers of love oracle this will be a reading okay today we are going to ask spirit about the past the present and the future of the connection Always keep in mind that the present, I mean the future, not the present, the future is subjective, right? Um, it can change depending on the energy. Um, we're looking at if the energy stays on course here, what the future will look like, okay? Um, for the past, we're going to get a little snapshot. And I did get message cards out for crystal number one. I was being called to do that. So I will be getting those out for the past for you as well, okay? Okay. Um, in the past, okay, having to forgive something here, okay, in this connection, okay, um, there could have been an element of forgiveness between you here um, in order to um, move forward here to the present moment, okay, it says nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments, so this could be someone um, on your mind here that maybe you had a past connection with before this point, okay, they came back in and there was an element of forgiveness here possibly okay for some of you of course ace of cups a lot of love three of pentacles working together okay so ace of cups first okay feeling a lot of deep love and wanting a new beginning together okay in the past and three of pentacles yeah wanting to really work together towards a common goal here right working together to um forgive each other here for any past transgression transgressions transgressions <laughs> whatever i don't know what word i'm trying to say there um but yeah trying to forgive the past here so again this could be someone you were previously connected to even before this point here for the past of this connection for crystal number three okay one flew under the thing if i can grab it hold on one second this one came out first and kind of flew over there. So, okay, we have the Hierophant, okay? So you've learned. Um, I feel like someone here, one or both of you, have changed a lot, okay? You've really done a lot of inner work, learned a lot of spiritual lessons here, right? And Page of Pentacles, look at this. Yeah, another, another card of new beginning. Wanting to start over fresh here, okay? Um yeah like wanting i feel yeah for a lot of you here again this may not resonate for everyone but for a lot of you here i feel like this is someone <clears throat> excuse me that you may have been connected to in a past situation before this here okay so more past okay they came back in there was an element of forgiveness um wanting to work together um, proving to one another that you have changed or that things have, um, you've grown, okay? Someone here has grown, um, learned a lot of spiritual lessons, okay? And coming back in and wanting this new beginning here. So messages from the past, let's see. What would this person have wanted to say in the past here? 
to crystal number three. I will always love you, okay? So yeah, I will always love you. Someone that loved you previously and comes back in and says, listen, I will always love you. Uh, that's why I'm here, okay? I'm here because I love you, okay? Um, so yeah, this is, I feel, definitely a connection that you have experienced before this point, okay? Again, may not resonate for everyone. If it doesn't resonate, you can always choose a different crystal or a different reading altogether. I want to wake up in your arms every day. So really coming in, um, wanting this togetherness, okay? Wanting to bring this together and start new here, okay? Let's see. For the past of this connection, message cards, please, for crystal number three. I want to express how much I love you, okay? Wanting, again, to show you here as well, I feel, with the Hierophant card. Wanting to show you that change has happened, okay? Um, yeah, definitely some lessons had been learned and really wanting to show you how much they care, okay? Let's see. You could be with this person now if you've already worked through this forgiveness process here. You could be with them now. I pray, see this, I told you, I knew it. I pray you will give me a second chance. I knew it. This person is someone here um, that you were previously connected to, okay? Not necessarily in a relationship with, but definitely were connected, okay? Romantically connected. You knew you had feelings. Um, you could have been in a relationship with this person and broke up, okay? And now this is them in the recent past coming back in wanting forgiveness, wanting a second chance, wanting to show you how much they love you, right? Okay, so you could already, like I said, in the present, we're going to see as we move forward, we're going to see if you've already worked through this forgiveness process, or you could be working through that right now in the present, okay? So let's see this connection for crystal number three in the present moment what's going on in the present moment here for crystal number three simple acts of kindness okay so yeah kind of maybe doing things together um showing each other how much you care being kind to one another really expressing your love for one another here okay um and again showing that kindness between you right um, kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So you could really be um, enjoying each other's company right now, okay? Something like that. Let's see for the present moment. We're going to get tarot out. We're also going to get oracle messages for the present and the future, of course. Um, and message cards as well, okay? So let's see what else, please. For crystal number three. In the present moment of this connection. Present moment for crystal number three. Five of wands. Competition challenge. Training conflict. Opposing opinions and drama. Okay. Um, you could be experiencing some of this during, um, you know, re-entering each other's lives okay there may be a little bit of and this is five of wands okay so taking action to resolve conflict okay so taking action to resolve conflict okay so this could be the conflict of the past here that yeah in the present you could be working through the conflicts of the past to move forward here let's see ten of wands yes releasing the burdens okay yes exactly so you're in this stage here is when i feel this person comes back in and expresses how much they always have loved you um and wanting to get a second chance here right and this is working through those feelings okay working through the hurts from the past okay releasing the burdens of it in order to move forward so i feel right now in the present that's what's going on moving forward quickly okay so you're working through it relatively quickly together here okay really focusing on the forward movement of this connection um really wanting to release the burdens and move forward here okay beautiful what else 
death yeah endings bring new beginnings see so ending the pain of the past leaving it behind right and moving forward to what you're looking to accomplish okay um big message there this is more of an energetic type thing here is what i'm feeling so healing those wounds that may have needed forgiving in the past right so learning to really dive deep okay together i feel though yeah i'm picking up together working on this together is what i'm feeling here okay so really having a lot of deep talks things like that right in order to let that ending end right let's not even remember that did not not remember but heal it okay so not push it down but let's let's look at the the very past here the the more not the recent past the more past i don't know how to describe that but further back in the past let's look at that situation let's work through everything that we needed to then and let's clear it now is what i'm feeling okay let's leave it behind okay let that end the energies that came along with it let that end and let's start fresh right let's start new okay so again right now in the present moment i don't feel like it there's i feel like there's forward movement but i feel like it's more of a healing phase for the both of you together okay so you might have been apart here before this okay you might have broken up or again like it might not have even been a relationship you could have just been romantically connected but not necessarily exclusive or anything like that um you you parted ways and now they've come back for a second chance and now it's like working through the stuff that you never really got to work through um before right and i feel like it's now instead of doing it separately you're kind of doing it together okay and that's what I'm feeling here. So let's see, working through the issues together to relieve these burden, release burdens from the past. I do feel a lot of deep talk here going on. Um, things like that, growth, yeah, see? You're growing, yes, you're growing and evolving together, okay? Um, through these talks you're you're learning to grow and evolve together i feel like you've both grown individually as well um here with the hierophant card i do feel like you've both grown individually but here i feel like this is growth of the connection together okay working through the issues that may have held this connection back in the past balance coming into balance right exactly beautiful so finally balancing out the energies here between you and really finding that happy medium here okay beautiful beautiful energy here yes this is definitely um a growth path here is what i'm feeling okay a second chance again is what i'm feeling for some of you may not resonate for everyone but for some of you i do feel like this is someone from the past for sure someone that you were previously connected to even before this point here we have destiny and soulmate out together wow that's big energy okay so feeling very destined like this is your soulmate here okay um maybe that's why this connection was so strong this person always felt love for you even when they weren't with you here okay so a very deep powerful soul connection here which can be the catalyst to this growth too okay um the growth from the past with the hierophant card here and the growth in the present moment here okay it's a very deep powerful soul connection and you're you're empowered um together here is what i'm feeling to grow even further but as a couple okay so let's see what else for crystal number three focus on the positive that's right leave that negativity that drama all of that stuff in the past okay in the present moment focus on the positive okay definitely leave that negative um energy the drama all of that stuff in the past don't keep rehashing the past either once it's talked through and healed between you leave it right where it belongs in the past okay 
What else for crystal number three? Present moment, please, of this connection. Definitely a growing phase, and the present is where I feel you're at here. Um, even if this is, this could just be talks as well, right? It could be maybe not quite in a relationship uh, with this person again or um, anything like that. It could literally just be talking to get there, okay? Resolving issues, time machine. So give it time, okay? Don't rush it. Give it the time it needs to grow, okay? To become what it needs to be, okay? To come into balance. Give it time to come into balance. What else in the present moment, please? Simplicity. Don't overcomplicate it, okay? Um, definitely keep things simple. Don't overcomplicate it. And I picked up a second ago. Do not rehash the past. Once it's talked about and resolved, leave it there. Don't keep bringing up, like beating a dead horse. Don't keep bringing up um, the same issue, right? Once you've talked through it, once you've come to an agreement here on how to move forward past it, stick to that and move past it. Okay, I feel like that's a pretty strong message for someone here. Um, just in case maybe that need arises to keep bringing up certain things. Just try not to do that. Okay, turn away. Yes, you need to turn away from the negativity here. You need to focus on the positive. We had this card out a second ago, right? Yes, focus on the positive. Turn away from the negative and don't keep looking back there. Okay, turn away from it move forward okay forward not backward all right let's see what else but i feel like here with i mean these were pretty powerful cards here we had the ace of cups in the beginning this person and you i feel very deeply in love here right but again problems arose and i feel a parting of ways at some point happened gates of triumph success expands in your life yeah this is a path of growth it's going to things are going to um feel so much better once you get to that point um of moving past what's no longer um an issue right so if someone has healed themselves and they're no longer um a certain way don't keep rehashing when they were so to speak right just move forward through those gates of triumph and realize that now victory is right ahead right victory is right ahead what else keep an open mind okay your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so we did have soulmate here okay so this person might not fit into the box that people think um you would choose let's say but always war just don't worry about what other people think kind of worry about what you feel and that's all that really matters right so you could have people surrounding you here that maybe think like why are you with that person because i love them that's why right <laughs> i know what i feel keep an open mind to it though um to your own feelings is what i'm feeling here okay Keep an open mind to things um, that arise, things that arise. So keep an open mind to things that arise. So certain things might arise here. Um, expectations, right? Okay. So you might have a specific expectation about this connection. Just keep an open mind to different possibilities here as well, okay? So dual messages there coming through. For some of you, I feel like it's other people trying to um, put their opinion on you. Um, and I'm feeling here like it's like you're trying to tell them, you know, you need to keep an open mind. I know what's right for me. Um, you may not think so, but I do. But for others, it's about some sort of an expectation between you. Um, just be open to other possibilities here, okay? Present moment, please, for crystal number three. Soulmates again. Wow, okay. So for some of you, is it two? No, soulmates. 
Okay, partnership agreement, soul contract. Yeah, for some of you, um, this is your soulmate. That's another confirmation of that as well, which again could be why there was this deep, powerful connection um, that neither of you, I feel, wanted to let go of here, okay? Let's see, we're going to get some message cards for the present and then we'll move into the future section for crystal number three, please message cards for the present moment please for crystal number three i am extremely grateful so feeling extremely grateful both of you here i am extremely grateful to have you in my life so this person and you i feel both very grateful for one another beautiful energy a grateful heart is a beautiful beautiful thing so feeling grateful for the love between you Wow. It took all I had to stay away from you. So this person probably wanted to come back in way sooner than they did here is what I'm feeling. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good thing this is my last reading. My throat is really acting up. Hope I'm not getting sick. Crystal number three. Being with you will be a dream come true. See, so when this is all over this healing journey together... Um, this person really, you're like a dream come true to them. Um, really wanting this togetherness, this partnership to come to fruition here. Present moment for crystal number three, please. Whoops, I have a flipper. Where did it go? There it is. So they, <laughs> they always checked your social media, okay? <clears throat> and pray you haven't moved on from them, okay? So they could still look at in the present moment. They could still, you know, keep an eye on social media, things like that. Um, maybe looking for patterns. Patterns? Looking for patterns. Hmm. I always check your social media and pray you haven't moved on from me. So if you're not with this person right now, like if you're just kind of healing, coming together, trying to be kind to one another, hanging out, trying to get to know each other again, something like that, but you haven't committed to a partnership together, like a relationship or something like that, then I feel like this person is still kind of afraid that you won't choose them, okay? In the present moment, I feel like <clears throat> they're still kind of afraid that you won't get past whatever happened here and forgive them. So they're kind of like maybe watching your social media, making sure that you're still kind of um, not moving on from them or, you know, if they saw you with someone else, they might think that you just chose to move on or something like that. Okay. So in the present moment, maybe for some of you, you maybe for some of you, you have come together, but for some of you, I feel like maybe you haven't. Okay. And they're still kind of worried that you, um, those aren't the ones I haven't even, um, talked yet about it. But yeah, I feel like they're, 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 if you haven't been with this person, like you haven't committed to a partnership, they're still kind of a little bit afraid that you won't um, commit to them or choose them or something like that, that you'll move on from them. For the Okay, let's get the future now for the future of this connection for crystal number three. If everything stays on course here, where would this lead, please, for crystal number three, for the future of this connection? Future of this connection for crystal number three, please. There we go. We have... Wow. Mm, wow. Committed. Yeah. You very much committed to one another here. Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love, okay? Um, both of you feeling very loving, again, toward one another here in the future. Really wanting a solid, stable commitment here, I'm feeling, with that consider your foundation. Possibly marriage, things like that. Let's see with the tarot for crystal number three, please. The future of this connection. 
six of swords moving forward to smoother waters there you go letting it go leaving it behind all of this stuff right all of these things that you've had to work through um really letting it go and moving forward that's beautiful that's also um a card about divine intervention as well so the universe could be kind of nudging you along here helping this situation along as well the world look at this happiness beautiful happiness completion of a cycle travel you may be traveling with this person as well okay feeling extremely happy here moving forward to happiness um and travel um really stuck out to me there so you could be traveling as well with this person what else nine of swords a little bit of anxiety though okay could be about big steps being taken okay um feeling oh okay yes okay oh wow whoa that's big okay so this is about wow this person is very they want to marry you okay and they're really nervous about asking you here um picking up that it may there may be multiple attempts okay so i feel like here there's some sort of a plan maybe on a trip to ask you to marry them but then they back they back down they they get scared they they have anxiety nerves yeah they're yeah they're really afraid is what i'm getting here so it could be an old wound resurfacing here like a fear of commitment or on their part or a fear of rejection okay i'm picking i feel like for a lot of you it could be fear of rejection this person and a fault there's like a false attempt like a, a not a false attempt but a um there's an attempt that they plan it okay all right this is difficult to explain they plan it the plan goes through except that part <laughs> okay if that makes any sense so they have the ring in their pocket so that sort of thing okay and not necessarily saying that everyone that proposes need it needs a ring um but what i'm saying is just for um simplicity purposes here and for understandability here it's like they go through with whatever plan i was picking up maybe on a trip so they could be planning like maybe a weekend away or a trip uh uh a long trip who knows um but some sort of travel okay and it's like they have the ring in their pocket and they were going to do it but then they get they scare themselves out of it and again a, a, an old wound resurfacing was what i heard so could be some more healing to do in the future here okay but i don't feel like it doesn't happen i just feel like because i'm feeling like this is it's an attempt it's one attempt that doesn't happen so they try once it doesn't happen but they try again okay so the first attempt doesn't happen they they kind of scare themselves out of it okay they may need to go back heal a little bit here ease their own mind something okay um really yeah work through some past fears here is what i'm feeling okay fear of rejection yes look at this four swords exactly yep for yeah they need to heal past wounds here to they really want to marry you though <laughs> that keeps coming through Mm, so they're just they want to marry you they're fearful either again for some of you it could be fear of commitment that they had um an issue in the past that hasn't fully 
healed okay or for some of you it's fear of rejection i feel like a lot of you it's this here because this came through in the present moment here i feel like it's something that carries over into the future so it's almost like they fear you won't choose them you won't say yes okay <laughs> If, you know, that resonates for anyone, well, obviously this is the future, so it wouldn't happen right this second, maybe, but um, if you encounter this where it's almost like you get the feeling that they're going to propose and then they don't, just know that it's it's a fear that's arising here, okay? Doesn't mean it won't happen, because I am picking up that it will. They want to very much. But there's definitely a failed attempt. So there's one attempt here that this person tries to come forward and propose. And they don't. Okay. So don't be disheartened by that. Okay. Just know here you've watched this reading. If this happens for you. Um, like you, you get that feeling inside. Like I think, the, I think they're going to propose. I think they're going to propose. And then you go on the trip or whatever it is for you. A dinner. Whatever it is for you. Um, and they don't, don't be disheartened by it, I'm feeling here, okay? It doesn't mean that they don't want to. It just means that there's more wounds to heal here, for sure. Um, um, again, two that I'm picking up on very heavily is fear of commitment and fear of um, rejection, okay? Rare knowledge. Mm, tapping into the inner wisdom, okay, in the future. Tap into your own inner wisdom too, okay? Know that this person is just in need of healing, okay? You'll know that because you're very wise, okay, is what I'm feeling there. We have warrior, beautiful. Yes, stay strong through it, okay? Don't let it, don't let it change your perception of this situation. This person loves you very deeply. They want to marry you. They said here in the past they came back for a second chance and will always love you, right? They do. They deeply love you. However, they are still um they still have some internal work to do. They may have done a lot, but they definitely um need to heal those um Again, fears there, okay, of the mind here. But there is also plenty of moments of peace here for you in the future in this situation, okay? Doesn't mean you have to be engaged to have peace, right? Go with the flow. Enjoy the moment for what it is, okay? So enjoy every moment. And again, if you come across that situation where you were feeling like they were going to propose but then didn't, just know it has nothing to do with you at all. It's about them and their own fears that they need to heal, okay? Look at this. Ha! <laughs> exactly. Trust all will be well, see? What I said a minute ago. Just don't let it dishearten you, okay? And assess the situation. When you assess the situation, think back to this reading, right? And then say, oh, right. I know exactly what's going on. Don't worry about it everything will be fine trust all will be well okay there is just a little bit more healing to go on here no one is ever fully healed right we're always healing ourselves from things so this person and you are no different right so everyone um needs to do things in their own time okay close encounters yeah you're gonna have plenty of these i feel like there's a lot of passion between you here um definitely wanting to um have some close intimate time here in the future wanting to really bring it together all of the emotion and feelings inner peace yeah see wow in the future here, if this continues and then this healing takes place as well, inner peace, right? We had peace out already. I feel like you both feel very much at home in each other's presence here. Very uh, much like you can be yourself, okay? And not be judged, okay? Decisions, yeah. So big decisions. There's those decisions, okay? They want this. They really do. They've made the decision in their mind, okay? They really want it. But then they get they get scared, okay? They get nervous. They get 
anxiety over it okay um and again it's all fear that just needs to be healed okay and then it will happen okay trust all will be well for sure with this connection i feel surrendering to the journey release control okay so yes big message for oh and discovering truth was stuck behind it as well so surrendering to the journey release control so don't try to control it if you did feel like you know this person was going to propose don't like freak out on them and you know whatever just know that it's just them needing to heal right um so just surrender to the journey release control go with the flow and it will happen trust all will be well right and discovering truth you stand in the light of truth right you know that this person is your truth you know how they feel deep within you know that you love each other very deeply right so just stand in that truth surrender to the journey let things flow naturally okay and everything will be fine trust all will be well okay let's get a couple more before the message cards here for crystal number three the future of this connection please for crystal number three the future of this connection for crystal number three heart to heart conversations yeah see talk about it okay just talk about it but don't be angry okay just be very calm cool and collected here okay have some heart to heart conversations um help them heal you can help them heal love is a very healing energy right you know some reassurance look at this healing heart yeah see that's exactly what I was just saying, okay? Healing their heart with your love, right? Beautiful, yes. Helping them through it, okay? That's what love is all about, right? Being there for one another, unconditionally loving them. All right, some message cards here to finish out the reading for crystal number three. Hmm, you are so important to me. Yeah, so both of you feeling that strong strong um love so so important to one another yeah i feel like you guys are going to be very happy here um a lot of peace love okay just um again marriage stability but it's it's getting there right wow my love for you is as deep as the ocean beautiful beautiful energy there Again, I was feeling that deep love between you here. Beautiful. A couple more, please. No one loves me like you do. See, you help them heal. No one has ever given them the love that you give them. Your love is so special and important to them. Very, very um, grateful here, I feel, for that as well future of this connection for crystal number three i haven't told you how much i love you so see they might not have even shared the depth of their feelings out of fear of rejection here they may have told you you know i love you they may not have told you like i want to marry you i want to spend forever with you i love you so much they may not have um expressed their deepest desires for you okay which is again with that foundation card um coming up first in the future i feel like that's very heavily at the forefront of the future for this connection they're really focused on that but then they get afraid and they have to heal and that's okay right just be there for them through it and just know don't be disheartened if it doesn't happen in your time, right? Release control, go with the flow. All right, guys. Well, that's what I have for you today. Crystal number three. I hope this reading was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.